Bedford Blues got back to winning ways in the Green King IPA Championship as they beat Moseley 24-31 at Billsley Common on Saturday afternoon. The host began the game on the front foot and opened the scoring in the third minute when Adam Caves went over the line from the back of a driving mall and Glyn Hughes converted. Bedford replied with a well-worked try of their own which saw George Perkins coming off his wing to create an overlap which was exploited by Ollie Dodge before the centre passed the ball inside to the supporting Mike Howard who went over in the corner for an unconverted try. The game was to swing back in Mosley's direction when some loose tackling saw Drew Cheshire breaking through the Blues defensive line and charging forwards before offloading to Greg King who dotted down under the posts leaving Hughes with an easy conversion. Bedford then went on the attack from the restart and duly crossed the whitewash for their second try of the afternoon. After skewering the ball, the Blues went through a number of good phases with Sam James and B. Allo carrying well, while Henry Taylor directed traffic. With the ball spread towards the left wing, Nick Fenton Wells showed a good turn of pace before popping the ball to Perkins, who ran in under the posts, with Miles Dorian adding the extras to make it 14 12 at the interval. Four minutes into the second half and Bedford got their noses in front when Dorian spotted plenty of space and sent a perfectly weighted kick over the top of the Mosley defence which Piers O'Connor fell onto to score. The Blues soon had the try bonus point in the bag following a good turnover in the ruck which allowed Michael Le Bourgeois to break, send the defence the wrong way and then turn the ball inside to O'Connor who went over for his second in quick succession and Miles Dorian's conversion gave Bedford a 10 point lead. But Mosley weren't out of it yet, and when the chance presented itself, Hughes sent a high crossfield kick straight into the arms of Carl Evans, who went over the line, but Hughes was unable to add the extras. Back the pendulum swung in Bedford's favour, and with a huge overlap on the right wing, Dorian sent the ball out to Le Bourgeois, who in turn found Pat Tapley, and with the winger drawing in the defence, he passed the ball out to Harry Wells, who had the strength to go over in the corner, with Dorian adding a superb conversion. There was still time for a late charge from the home team, who picked up two bonus points when Buster Lawrence found himself out on the wing and cleverly squeezed over to score in the corner with nine minutes left on the clock. The Blues are back in action on New Year's Day when they face London Scottish at Goldington Road. Buy your discounted tickets online now at www.bedfordrugby.co.uk.